Welcome back to Clean Home Calm Mind. My name is Michelle and today's video is actually part one of a two-part whole house deep clean. So if you're needing some extra motivation, especially after the holidays or right before the new year to get things done around your house, then today is the perfect video for you. So on day one, I'm actually just going to start in my kitchen. I'm not. There are some things that I'm not going to quite get to because this is actually a couple of days before Christmas. So there were some things that I knew that it was just kind of pointless to do because I had some baking and cooking to do and get done before the holiday. Um, but I'm just going to start here with my table and I'm just using Mrs. Meyer's uh, Clean Day cleaning solution in the... Um, peppermint scent which is such a great scent for the holidays and I'm sad that it's kind of over and I won't get to use it so much anymore um, but I will definitely keep it on hand to use next year because it smells so good If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you found me today. Like I said earlier, my name is Michelle and I live in Georgia with my husband and our two kids and our little puppy Clover. And you'll see her running around a little bit throughout my videos. Um, she likes to follow me around sometimes. Um, but I just wanted to give you a little rundown of what this channel is all about. And it's just about creating a clean and relaxing environment for you to come home to at the end of a long day of work or whatever that you're doing um, and having a place where you can really just relax and feel calm and so I just want to provide some motivation for you especially if you struggle with the same things that I do like anxiety and depression um, I just really think that having a clean and organized home makes a huge difference in how we feel every single day so if that's something that you think you might need then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and um, turn on the notifications so you never miss another thing with me again I've been pushing away everybody I love. So now that Christmas is over, when do you take down your decorations? Um, we actually have a real tree every year, and so I have to take that down typically like the day after Christmas because it's just starting to get so dry and kind of falling apart. So that is already down, but everything else is still up and I have such a hard time wanting to put it all away because I spend so much time putting it up and I just want to enjoy it for as long as possible. So I try to keep most of my stuff up through most of the winter. So um, if you celebrate Christmas and you decorate, let me know down below when you start taking your decorations down. Won't you save, 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 save me? I am out here alone. to talk to get this pain on my chest all the bad things I've done and the people I've heard wanna take that part of me and leave it in the dirt won't you save 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 so right here I'm just spraying on some cleaning vinegar because that's actually marshmallow that got microwaved and kind of exploded. So it was really stuck on there. So I just decided to spray it with some vinegar to kind of loosen it up. And um, for the inside of the microwave I'm just using a magic eraser and it, so it wiped everything really clean. 
Um, I don't typically let my microwave get super caked on with lots of messes, so magic erasers for me work pretty well. Um, but I've heard that you can actually microwave vinegar and water to loosen anything that's stuck on there. So if that's something that you're having a problem with, you can try that and see if it helps. I'm gonna tear down the curtains, let the sun shine in. Oh, I've been seeking forgiveness, cause I know I was wrong. for a little while then you know this is one of my favorite stovetop cleaning hacks it works so so well it's just um, the Dawn power wash spray and I just let it I spray it on let it sit for a little while and then everything wipes off pretty easily it doesn't work for really like cooked on stuff but it works super well for everything else so if you have that um, then you should try it on your stovetop and if not it's really inexpensive I get mine at like the Dollar General so that's just one of my favorite ways to clean the stove top. I'm using the Sprayway glass cleaner and I think that it works really well on um, these surfaces but I've also used the Pledge like wood duster um, and that seems kind of weird but I think it works really well too so just another idea for you. here is actually the Pet Complete Hoover Smart Wash um, and it's made for carpet but pretty much since I bought the machine almost I think in January of this year so almost a year ago I've actually used it on my tile in my kitchen and um, our bathrooms 
as well as the carpet. And to me, it works really well for both. Hoover and other companies actually make products that are specifically for hard floors. Um, but they're kind of expensive and I already, you know, spent the money on this. And so for me, it works just as well as one of those other products. Um, and I prefer it to regular mopping because it, you know, it cleans the floors and then it sucks up the dirty water. So you're just getting rid of all the dirt as opposed to regular mopping, which to me, I know it does help, but I feel like it spreads the dirt as well. Like it's not really pulling anything up. So this is just what I prefer to get my floors really, really clean. So if you already have something like this, then you can could consider using that. Um, and I haven't noticed, like I said, it's made for carpet and I haven't noticed any issues with it on the hard floors. So like I said, if you have something like this already, then that might be a good option for you if you want to get your hard floors clean. If you'd hate the ocean, then i turn the water to land. If you'd miss the sunlight, I'd fill up the cups of my hand. And honey, I've been racing the wind like a bird Been chasing the wealth of the world But it fades with you near Tell me where we go from here Oh, So as you can see, the water is pretty darn disgusting so I definitely think that this method works really well. So here's the kitchen all cleaned up and ready for the Christmas holidays. products and methods to clean the toilet. So first I'm just taking a little bit of toilet paper and kind of wiping off anything that I can um, just with that first. And then I'm going to go in with um, a disinfectant spray. I a lot of times like to use like antibacterial wipes, but I didn't have any. But I did have this um, disinfectant spray that I got I think at Target a while back. Um, so I'm just going to use that to really get the toilet clean and, you know, free of germs. If I'm lost, so I've talked about this before, but this is a Clorox toilet bowl wand, and I just love how easy and convenient they are for cleaning toilets. You just let the um, pad soak for a few seconds, and then you wipe it clean, and then just discard the little pad, and it's so simple and easy to use, and they're not very expensive. So I'm going to use the disinfectant spray again, just here around the toilet and behind it and on the wall, where as gross as it is, things, you know, splash back there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that since I'm actually going to use my Hoover in the bathroom as well to mop, but it cannot reach back there. It's way too big. So I'm just going to wipe down the area around the toilet with the disinfectant spray before I do that. And here I'm just using the Sprayway glass cleaner again. It's another great product that's really inexpensive. You can find it at Walmart or on Amazon. If I do, if I cry, when I'm blue. Here I'm using my Granite Gold Daily Cleaner and I use this in my kitchen as well. This is what I really like to use if I'm deep cleaning um, my granite because it's made specifically for that and so I'm not using products that are going to um, kind of mess it up or make it not as strong as it should be. So I'm just going to use that here to clean up the granite.
So this cabinet I actually painted over the summer and it's actually holding up pretty well. It's just typical like latex wall paint that's I think in the semi-gloss sheen and I really like it. It was an, originally like a dark brown similar to my kitchen cabinets but I prefer the white painted look. Through wind and through rain, through trouble and pain, if Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you made it here to the end like I said earlier I hope you had a great Christmas holiday if you celebrate and I hope you have a good New Year's as well and I will be back hopefully next week with a part two of this video and we're gonna start getting things cleaned up for the new year because nothing is better than a clean house and a brand new year so I will see you again in the next one bye guys <laughs>